A little over an hour later, I returned to my room after eating dinner. Phew, that really hit the spot. The, the dinner, huh? We had tempura my mom prepared the soba that Ichino Seisan bought. Oh, soba with tempura, huh? Nice, that's a nice combo. According to what mom found out, their original plan was to move in weeks ago. Unfortunately, the renovations took longer than expected, so they had to stay in a hotel until just yesterday. Ichino Seisan has already started at her new school and both her parents are working at their new jobs. By the way, Ichino Seisan is the first year. She doesn't have 10 Kunahama though. Oh, so she's one year younger than, than uh, Masaya. Oh well, whatever. Maika. She seems to be a nice girl. The soba is good and she's a good flyer. That's all there is to it. Redakeda. Gotta thank her next time we meet. Huh? Huh? What do you mean, huh? What's going on? Anyway, just taking a look at his room. Yeah, I mean, just a normal room, but there's like. The background is like a host of uh, octanes. I mean, I guess he used to love. I mean, he still loves flying, right? And then there's the solar system or the planets. <laughs> I have a poster right there. Then rest are just normal stuff. Wait, what's this over here? What's this on the bottom right corner? What's this? <laughs> is this like PS4 or something? <laughs> what's this box? Uh, but then that, yeah. All these are books, mangas, I guess. And then, yeah, and, and this bag. I freeze. Why? I mean, of course I do. How could I know in this situation? When I look out my window, I see... a girl? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh. When I look out, I see Rika. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's... I'm pretty sure she's dressing up. <laughs> Well, well, um, this is a nice start, you know. I mean, eventually we're, 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 we're going to see the hitch scenes and also, you know, just... I mean, Rika is the first girl we see, so... <laughs> just to get prepared for what, you know, her hitch scene is going to be like, and then, you know... <laughs> um, you know, from the way how... Like I said before, right, from the way how the vision novel is actually developing, it seems like... Rika is actually going to be, yeah, going to be Masaya's turn. I'm not sure, yeah, it seems like, because the, it seems like the, the common route at the moment it seems to be really gearing towards Risa, I mean Rika, rather than, you know, Ayaka, her name is Ayaka, right? was it? No, Asuka, yeah, rather than Asuka, right? <laughs> yeah, so, it makes me think that Rika is actually the main heroine rather than rather than Asuka, so so that might make me actually save Rika for last rather than Asuka. Maybe Asuka is going to be second last. Yeah, so I'll just see how things go, you know. But yeah, that aside, let's enjoy this D4 bit, which is like, yeah, you know, <laughs> very beautiful. <laughs> of course, you freeze. Now I get why he said, of course I will freeze. No? Oh, I see you. Oh, yeah. And her, her bra is not even like, fully won yet, no? <laughs> so it's like, you know? <laughs> ah, I love it. Seems like time has stopped in the radius of 5 meters. It's like so coincidental, like their rooms are just opposite each other. Neither of us budges at each. We both remain frozen in place. Honestly, why I can't even so much as cover my eyes or turn around? Well, you can go here and take off your shirt. <laughs> hey, I didn't do it on purpose! Eventually, I hear a voice that seems to be on the verge of explosion. <laughs> Very embarrassing, yeah. Before I have time to figure out what she means, she's definitely going to scream no. Yeah! She finally erupts. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Wait, sure I'm surprised, but why the hell am I screaming? Wait, he's screaming too well. I just scream, so. <laughs> Sorry, I closed the curtain right away. How how do I even 
他们一定都舍得用。<笑>其实和和 i s a c e 是 t e r r i b l I mean, unless I like open the window and then like jump towards your window, but your window is closed. Ah, <笑>、uh, I think you're overreacting. Um, what do you mean you're overreacting? What kind of liar are you? What kind of what are you saying, Masaya? Of course, she will overreact. You know, this isn't going anywhere. Actually, you can just close your curtain. <laughs> so <laughs> this is so fun. She pulls the curtain over her window, which blocks my view. So then I close my curtain as well. All right. <sighs> But the thing is, I mean, we can't even expect Masaya to like suddenly look through the window right and see each other right. So yeah, But for her to be like just. Getting dressed up, like getting dressed up like that, make, half naked. Oh, so, while did not having drawn her curtains, she's like, she's definitely, yeah, you know, she's definitely open about just getting dressed up like this. <laughs> well, not really, but <laughs> I let out a deep sigh. However, the sense of dread from having seen something I shouldn't have doesn't go away. Does she understand that it was an accident? I hope so. <laughs> I don't want to yeah, our relationship to get ruined because of this incident. That's great. Pretty sure my first impression wasn't too bad, but now it's. <laughs> don't worry, we will we'll get it sorted out. After that, I keep looking for signs of her wanting to talk as I go about my business. But in the end, I never get an opportunity to apologize to explain myself. We just have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> so well. So tell me, have you gotten more used to flying now? I asked Rashina San. We're flying together hand in hand, just like yesterday. Ah, hi. Today is completely normal. She gives a couple nods and takes a joyful smile at me. Glad to hear that. I'm looking forward to seeing how you do after school, then. Yes, ne. ええー、というわけで、今日からこのクラスに入ることになったクラシナアスカラ。みんなよろしく頼む。Yes, よろしく。<笑>ユーガ。クラシナアスカです。内地の方から来て、まだよくわからないことも多いですが、ぜひいろいろと教えてくださいね。Let's not show why Asuka moved to here. Because she she came from the mainland, right? So mainland would be like, I mean, mainland doesn't have to be city, but it's like from the mainland to to this island, it's like most likely it's like, well, I I wouldn't say a step down, but still it's like from the mainland to this island, it's like. I wonder why she moved? That's the thing. Why she moved here? Nah, no, no. So Asuka-chan was suddenly transformed into a tortoise. Meanwhile, what's her name again? Oh shit, I forgot your name. Sorry, Misaki, right? She's standing in the background, looking kind of. I think she's sleepy. I think she's. It's more like she's looking sleepy. Eh, so that is. Minato san and Misaki chan to together. Yesterday, I flew to fly with you. Eh, Misaki was together. That's right. Yeah, she's in sleepy mode right now. <laughs> now we know the trend. Ah,、uh. it's like. When when in school she's in sleepy mode, but after school then she's all hyper and energetic and revitalized. There's no point trying to talk to her this early. Yeah, I brought this along today. People don't tend to think about theory when flying, which makes it hard to keep all the rules and laws in mind. That's why I went and grabbed this from the library. Oh, what's your? What are you doing here? <laughs> no, I didn't. I borrowed it the normal way. I decided that today we would only fly after a lesson on the theory of flight, its history, grab shoes, terminals, and all that. How old do you need to be to use grass shoes? Nine years. 
ただし決められたゾウ以外を飛べる許可が下りるのは13歳からですおおエッツクーイエーコレクトメイシンやりましたクラシナさん、ドズンシモーデグレートメニカムスとアクションにフライン But she's been absorbing the rules and laws like a sponge. She's a clever girl. I guess she's really interested in me. Um, there are no questions left. For today. She's progressing too quickly, yeah? <laughs> Gotta say, you have an impressive memory. That's a pretty amazing talent. I see. Seems awfully convenient. This like suits her perfectly though. So, do you have any questions at all? A request? I guess, sure. Depends on what it is. Oh, that, that's fine. That's, that's cool. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's what you meant. She had me confused for a second there.、Eh? Oh. Huh? Misaki Senpai, what are you? Is Misaki going to give you some questions? <laughs> yeah, Mashiro joins in the flight. <laughs> You're really good at interrupting things, Arisaka. Well, I mean, she's sleepy, so. Okay, that's not really the. This is not really the correct translation. Because as Scott didn't say that strange. Because she actually said. I thought she was. I thought you were following her. That's actually what Asuka said. Yeah, something like that. Rather than that strange. Do you ever think you're going overboard? You can put a positive spin on just about anything, huh? <coughs> the way I see it is she's just moody. So, so she's going to be the one conducting this. The one Misaki Senpai quiz? You're really pushing for that quiz, aren't you? How unusual. Normally, she would want to keep everything to herself. Oh, so it's to learn more about Misaki chan. Just make sure you don't focus on the quiz more than fly. I really doubt it, so I'll join them just to be safe. Oh, I'm participating too, alright. <laughs> no, no, why is he gonna die? Arisaka, Arisaka seems pumped. I'm guessing because it's about Misaki. She's even throwing in sound effect there.、Chunk. <laughs> Honestly, Arisaka sounds great. About ready to explode with Nori. Oh man, of course, this is something that, well,、uh, Asaya will know, but not Asuka. Amazing, I've got no clue. You don't know either, Asaya? It's not over yet. So you're expecting us to know way too much specific stuff about her. <laughs> well, of course you know because you're so close to her. You can't be serious. That's scary. What does that have anything to do with her birthday? <laughs> Wait, Arisaka. 
I stop her. You've already exposed our Misaki IQ, so you should be satisfied. But tell me, Arisaka, as someone who prides herself in being a Misaki master, do you truly understand her? If you can answer whatever random Misaki questions we throw at you, then that would make you a true Misaki master, don't you think? Well, that's the whole point. <laughs> we just throw random, throw random questions at her. Yeah, but I'm sure I'll be able to figure out if she's giving the right answers based on how she speaks. Yeah, we can tell if she's lying or not, you know? I mean, it's we can tell it's through body language. I see. I know I'm the one who suggested it, but I'm surprised she's actually playing along. Ikuyo! Here we go then! No point asking abstract questions that make it easy for her to die. We're going to some standard ones. What is Misaki's favorite food? But I mean, I guess that's a start, you know. Of course, she's going to tell the truth. Because these are all easy questions. Right? What's going to, yeah, what he's going, about to ask, like this question is going to be. Easy standard questions. Udon Takedoko Isaki chan no shumi wa? Taberu koto, obaa chan ni osoaru koto, saikin wa nuka doko zukuri! So she loves eating, huh? Misaki? Okay, then what her, her three? Watashi plus 11, 7, 12! Ah! Kotae rare nai to demo omoimashita? Uh, well, we can ask about her family. More like I asked myself, why you answered that question? I mean, come on, you really shouldn't have. I don't think... I mean, the thing is, Masho is not embarrassed when it comes to Misaki. I can't help but gulp as I think about her answer. But at least you know her sizes now. Uh, Masaya? Uh, it's for future reference. <laughs> If that Arisaka turns towards Misaki and... Huh? Towards Misaki? Wait... You mean... Asuka, not Misaki. Where's Misaki? I think it's a translation error. Actually, it's... Yeah, type, typo. It should be Arisaka turns towards... Asuka, right? Yeah, Asuka. Misaki-senpai! Misaki-senpai no suki! Wait, hold on. Misaki is actually here? Oh. Oh, hi. Misaki, what's up? You have something for me? <laughs> yeah, now... Okay, so Misaki is here again. Now Misaki has joined in. Nice. See all three of them flying. Now, I just noticed... You see Misaki's shoes? Look really cool. It's like this. It's actually black shoes with... Well, yellow lines. Looks really cool, yeah. Like some... Like, you know, the digital type of shoes, you know, that kind. Yeah, I don't know how you ex describe it, but it's like... Like you, like you think Daft Punk, and then that kind of electronic, that kind of... Yeah, those purple neon lights. Yeah, neon lights, you know. They look like neon lights. Hi, yeah, Misaki. So you summoned her, you know, Mashiro? <laughs> Me? Yes? Misaki is waving me over. I'm sure it was a total coincidence that she said my name right there. I mean, that's the only possibility, but... I mean... Well, she did call Masaya Masaya. That means by his given name, right? Oh, no wonder don't these two look so surprised. <laughs> Because, yeah, as you know, like, in Japan, if, you, if someone calls, if, like, someone calls the oppo a person of the opposite gender by their given name, right, his or her, her given name, it, it means, it can imply that they are in a relationship, they have love, yeah, or, or it can also mean child friends, but most of the time it's, yeah, in love and all that, right, in a relationship or, and all that. Huh? Yes, Mashiro? That was the worst timing imaginable. 
I fly over to Misaki. Ah, uh, Misaki may not have meant anything by that, but your timing was real bad. <laughs> but why, why? <laughs> Seriously, Misaki actually heard that? <laughs> but you guys can see she's, she's like, kind of like winking, like one eye, her left eye is closed, because she's still like half asleep. But she's flying without any problem. Damn, she noticed. Well, I want to know more about you, you know, so yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! I'm positive Kurashina san raised the voice just now because Misaki is leaning in towards me. <laughs> oh. I instantly pull away from her in order to keep our anti gravity fields from repelling each other. Misaki pays my effort no heat as she smiles mischievously and speaks up. Oh, she said she doesn't hate me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I'll, I'll we'll, we'll change that, you know, eventually. Did you have to whisper the second part? I look over in the direction of the other two girls. Oh, that, that's Asuka. They, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, now it seems like. Like Masaya is between yeah, Mashiro and Misaki now, right? Yeah. One of them looks dead on a bit, yeah, Mashiro's eyes. What am I supposed to do about her? And the girls? <laughs> Misaki. Ah, okay. Go right ahead. Come on, give me an easy way to come down Arisaka. <laughs> why do you came why do you come to despise Wild Boss? Because they attack they attack you? That's useless! Parted with Misaki and Arisaka and are now on our way back. Our second day of training is set to end once we land on the terminal near where we both meet. Oh, right, she's actually not half asleep, but it's more like she's already wide awake because it's really after school. That's why they're like practicing crying and all that. Yeah. Considering it's only our second day, it's almost unbelievable how much she's true. Or not, I just saw her fly fall down. <laughs> so maybe I spoke too soon, she's flying exactly as you expect. But I'm like out of control. Okay, spoke too soon again, even a toddler would be better at flying on their second day. And I can be pretty rude sometimes, huh? It's like she's still struggling. The reason she's in, she isn't too down on herself after repeated failures, maybe because she's so stubborn. That's the conclusion that I reach as we enter the airspace of our neighborhood terminal. I'm positive that her hard work will lead to results in the not so distant future, yeah? No pain, no gain! Prashina-san's can do attitude actually makes me believe that. What's up? Better go save her. Don't go save something like that, it's such a cheerful voice! Rather than falling, she's starting to surf in random directions. <laughs> oh no, don't shake that! Yeah. Come down, Krishna san! Everything is gonna be fine! Even if you make a mistake, it's almost impossible to really lose control! Yeah, you know. Don't, don't worry! <laughs> There's no real way to crash when we're floating about so casually. Remember what I taught you yesterday, okay? You just have to come down later. Let's take you from the top. We're trashing our legs and line of heels. Oh, 
が持ちつつゆっくりと呼吸を、yes. 整えます。Take a deep breath. Right, you're doing good. She's really flustered, but still managing to work through the steps I taught her. There are two things to worry about in this situation. The first is losing sight of your surroundings, of sheer panic, and eating something after you've landed. Oh, that would be a disaster, yeah. And the other one is. Shit! The other possibility is currently approaching the terminal. This is bad. Someone could get hurt. Oh, yeah, she could crash into someone. Talking about colliding with another person here. Or more specifically, the recoil, the repulsive force that prevents people from actually colliding. It generally only lasts a short while. But in that time, a person cannot control their grass shoes. Seems luck isn't on our side as crash now, sun flies the approaching individual in before it's actually Ichinose. <laughs> yeah, Rika. But I think Rika can like, save her. She, you the lift? Yo, yeah, Pretty impressive, since I doubt she's bringing it on purpose. Oh wait, maybe it's a, it's just a prolonged scream. It is a prolonged scream. And your response to that... Huh? The approaching person makes no move to dodge her. Don't tell me... You haven't noticed her? Ah! I hurriedly position myself to help them. But... Huh? The person I was expecting her to collide with apparently has a clear grasp on our situation. It must be Ichinose here. Yeah. <laughs> After dropping their speed, they come to a halt at a safe spot. Seems they're waiting to see how things develop. Did that have a composed posture? They have a composed posture which shows they're ready to step in should something happen. That's... There's no doubt in my mind. Rashina-san, who has finally regained control of her graph shoes, has a puzzled expression on her face. I'm not sure whether she doesn't understand. Wait. Uh. I'm not sure if she, whether she doesn't understand how close she was to a disaster or if she's just shocked. And in response, the figure hurriedly approaches Rashina-san. See? What did I tell you? Ah, it's Rika! Hey Rika, what's up? <laughs> Things happen so fast, they have no time to digest everything. Yeah, I see you're flying steadily now. That's great. Yeah, I'm watching. I thought today's practice session would last until we reached our neighborhood terminal. I assume she's taking that in the strict sense, meaning until she lands, which is why Krasina signs still flying around. She must really enjoy flying. Well, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rika. Hey, hey, better go apologize to Rika, yeah? Honestly, the situation over here is a lot more of a problem for me. Hey, go apologize to her now. Uh, um. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> uh, uh, I mean. <laughs> Yep, she hates me. No, she doesn't hate you. She just is like really awkward. So just apologize and everything will be okay. Well, can't blame her after what happened last night. I may not have done anything wrong, but she knows say sign is still a victim. However, we've been floating around awkwardly for a while now. The conversation isn't moving forward at all. So apologize. And so I make up my mind and forge again. Sorry about that. But it's okay, it's because of your carelessness that we get to be closer together, right? <laughs> no, I wasn't talking about that. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Um, but, but... I thought you were talking about that, Masai. What are you talking? <laughs> The sight of her expression changing so quickly is so quite amusing. Unfortunately, she turns away in a half. But I guess I can apologize about yesterday later. I'm, uh, I'm apologizing for Krasina Sun's reckless flight. See, she only flew for the first time yesterday. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry. 
なさい。Huh? Pretty sure so that's why she wouldn't have been followed by any words of praise. I direct your right smile at her as she slumps her shoulders. It's alright. Can't say you're wrong though. Uh, can't say you're wrong really. No, she's not my girlfriend. <laughs> not yet. Wait, what? <laughs> why, why is there so much misunderstanding between Rika and Masai? I just realized, you know, I'm realizing that. Hey, is it just me or did you make up a whole story in your head? This is going in a bad direction. What? <laughs> That's literally what I'm doing. I'm teaching her as kindly as Taravi, as kindly and Taravi as I can. Oh, wait, you got the wrong idea here. <laughs> You're right, but the thing is. Hinata san to chigotte, hajimete de shita kara. First, first, what, what first? <laughs> The first time you are, you are, you, are, you, you get seen naked, half naked. <laughs> huh? She suddenly says in a stiff voice. You was the first for me too. Coach, coach, I'm on a meet a great master. Nanka, monosuku, must go to be chat on this kid. Uh, Rika, did you hear that? She said, Kochi. <laughs> Why are you looking at her? Kochi? Gotcha, I'll be watching now. Make sure not to miss it again. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that, Rika? Did she know Sesan's eyes have been feeling an awful lot like daggers? Huh? たくなくても思い浮かべちゃいますし思い出したくなくても忘れられなくて恥ずかしさと後悔で頭の中がずっとぐるぐるぐるぐるしてたのひなたさんは彼女さんとイチャイチャイチャイチャされていたんでねひな
Yeah, you get used to it. I mean, for myself, yeah, if I were to be in her shoes first time flying, I would definitely be scared as well. Because I'm a little scared of heights, but it just takes a bit of getting used to, right? This trip consists of circling Tunahama Island, a pretty standard basic course, and I'm letting Crush in the sun fly by herself instead of using cat fly. Let me know right away if you start having problems, I'll give you time to collect yourself. A slightly wobbly flight brings a dry smile to my face. But when I compare it to the first day, she's definitely improved. I think. She... Oh. So we have arrived, we have landed. After flying around for a while, we decided to take a break on the beach we spotted earlier. Here, take this. A hand crushing us on a soft finger board. It's free, okay, don't worry. It's fine. Think of it as a reward for flying properly today. Even happier. That's yes, not more happy. <laughs> Even happier. Rashina san immediately opens the lid and saves the drink I got her. I sit down next to her and gaze at the scenery in front of me as I down the drink I got for myself. I haven't flown anywhere other than school in a long time. To be honest, I don't have very fond memories of flying, but I actually enjoyed it today. I'm surprised. Odoroita. Odorokimashita. Ah, where? I guess it's all thanks to this eternally joyful girl. Hey, Kurashina san. Did you just call me, not say my name here? Okay, it's more like, did you just call me? Yeah, I did. Looks like she doesn't notice what's going on around her once she's focuses on something. <coughs> well, um, just thought that you seem to be enjoying yourself. Yep, yeah, you've looked happy all today. She makes a bit of a surprise expression. But I mean, that has me a little curious. Rashina san looks to the side and touches the cheek with her index finger as she speaks. A bit of a reason. And that is. Be happy with life, is that what you mean? Be happy with everything you do? Hmm, I can kind of see that actually. Yeah, I definitely can imagine that. I can tell actually. I mean, she does look kind of reserved actually, Asuka. Rashina san says suddenly, popping up and shakes all the while. Like, even for me, I used to be pretty shy at, at, you know, yeah, like really shy and introverted. Now I'm still kind of introverted. I still don't exactly speak much, but I definitely speak a lot more now, more often now than, than what I used to when I was still a little kid, still a student. Yeah, but now I definitely talk more, but I'm still more the introverted side. Yeah, not no longer as shy now. Well, you definitely just beat yourself. Seem a, little, a whole lot more pitiful there. 
なんとなくそういう子がいるのを想像してください。OK、got it. I let loose a knowing smile and do as she says. It's pretty cliche, but I picture a girl with a white one piece vest and straw hat standing in the middle. This must be from his memories, right? Damn, that's way too cliche. It's too embarrassing to mention to others, even. Still, what can I do if that's what come to mind, comes to mind? You know, I have a feeling this Asuka is actually the girl that we, yeah, the girl that we saw in the, in Masaya's dream, right in the beginning. The girl that he met before when they were young, when they were still little kids. Yeah. So that that then actually makes Asuka like the main hero. Oh wow! So Prince showed up on his white horse. That would be even more cliche than what I imagined. There was more to it. You. <laughs> Wait, was actually a girl? Oh, too bad. So maybe not. <laughs> But what if this girl is actually a boy and it's actually Masaya? But it's like he look he look like a girl back then, <laughs> right? I see. But he didn't get a real pin. I think he, she did actually. It's just that she didn't know that she is indeed a boy. <laughs> it's actually Masaya, right? Actually, I feel a bit relieved. Actually, I did that myself. I mean, I don't want her to think I'm into her or anything. anything. And? Okay. That's all? Ah, well, what happened next? Ah, ah, so this time. But I know Makashi no Tokimiki Banashi, they can't get through the Kodista. Well, if you want to end it right there, that's fine by me. Just end that, the, that, she's like, pretty a girl. Talks like a boy. It's actually a boy. <laughs> so we're just gonna do this part by part. All right, all right. Being heavy excitement, she goes on. That's one tightly sealed heart. So the girl didn't open, open her heart, okay? And what did she say? The app is Masaya. Ah, what? これまで引っ込んでいたのならこれから倍の時間楽しいことが待ってるってそれで私それ以来何でも楽しいと思えるようになったんですうんプリンセスはそれに対して感じ That's probably a, going a bit too far. Okay, I mean, but I mean, kids can be inspired by those words, by words, yeah, very easily, and yeah, then you will die. Then live by those words. It does make sense though, it's not an exaggeration to be honest. Still, I understand that a defining experience in our childhood can shape your life. In my case, that worked in a negative way though. I don't know, you seem pretty scared earlier. Well, scared doesn't mean you can't have fun, right? I mean, 
there's a case of like you feel scared and nervous deep down, but but you are also enjoying it at the same time, right? Having fun at the same time. Rashina-san, small sweetie. Oh, um, you're welcome. Do itashimashite. My face starts to burn out of ex embarrassment, so I take a big gulp on my train. You sure about that? そうですよ。全く飛べない私に一応飛べるようになるまで教えてくれて、本当感謝しています。Rashina-san directs a quick bow at me like she always does. Hinata-san はどうしてこんなに親身になって私に飛び方を教えてくれたんですか? That's because... Oh, shit. And here comes the first choice. <laughs> In response to a question, I reply, Oh, actually, I actually wasn't expecting a choice to come by so quickly, so soon. <laughs> okay, but this is a choice that will determine whether I'll be going down the yeah, Asuka's route or not, right? Yeah, uh, well, I did say I want to go down Mashiro's route at first, but if, if it's this kind of choice system, then I guess I'll just have to make the choices based on based on my own instinct right right yeah so i guess i'll just go with the flow and i guess yeah go with the flow and if i get the girl then if i get that first girl then that's the first girl that i'll get maybe i'll try to aim for As asuka then yeah because this this is the first choice i get with asuka so i like want to favor her right so i'll just yeah see how things go but i will like Favor every girl actually to be honest. So I would want to make the right choice here, like because yeah, even though it depends on whatever choices you make will depend on which girl I will go. Which girl I will be which girl's route I'll be going down, right? I will determine yeah my choices, but I will I will make choices based on my own instinct. So in this case, because I want you to know how to fly because Miss Kagami asked me to. So well the obvious answer here is the first one, right? You, you wouldn't want to choose the second choice because because Miss Kagami asked me to, then it feels like you're not doing it because you wanted to. It's just because someone else asked you to. So then, then obviously, in this case, it would be the wrong choice if you want to go down uh, Asuka's route. Right? Because you think that, oh, someone else asked you to and not you, yourself. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, so it's, I guess I want you to know how to fly. So it's my personal decision. I myself want you to know how to fly, right? So, yeah, I'm definitely going with this choice. Because I want you to know how to fly. Yeah, you yeah, allow you to go all sorts of places. You yeah, go to all sorts of places. Plus, you need it to live your life on this island. Exactly, yeah. When it comes to flying, there are certain things I can't put behind me. However, that has nothing to do with Rush and Nathan. Eventually, that, that, that will be. That's why I'm glad she's enjoying flying already. Man, I just can't get used to you calling me that. I mean, you were struggling a few days ago. Yeah, the person who invented them is a genius. Really soaring through the sky. That's something one could only dream of previously. But now it's just another part of our world, a dream come true. I've grown used to it by now, but honestly, the absurdity of it still amazes me. That's right. Life with grab shoes is like something out of the fantasy world, but it's actually real. It's always been like that. I've been remembering them a lot over the past three days. I can't help but recall the days when I was soaring through the sky and cutting through the wind. Back then, I was certain I was flying heights yet I know. Honestly, it may only be natural that things are moving in this direction. Try as I might to avoid it, this would have eventually come up in one of our practice sessions. 
A spot that uses grab shoes. Oh, here we go. Ah. I almost dropped the bottle I'm holding. Luckily, I hurriedly squeezed the bottle before agreeing in a slightly hoarse voice. Yeah, you're probably right. It's, yeah, the, the thing why he failed is because he failed in the spot that involves yeah, the grass shoes, right? Yeah. Eagle, you'll come to this. I mean, she wouldn't have said what she did earlier otherwise. Miss Kagami, are you skimming something? Huh? Talking about the whole flying instructor thing. Figured you have figured you have some specific reason to make me teach Krishna san. Aoi san suddenly forms a usual greed. Well, I can see some similarities. I realize she's trying to make me talk, but I also know there's no point beating around the bush. Between Krishna san and me, some similarities has in life. How they started, yes, started and all that. <laughs> the green changes to a lonely smile. She as well, yeah. Aoi-san pokes the mark on the table, then proceeds to run her finger along the rim. <coughs> so, though she's looking in my direction, it doesn't seem like she's staring at me. Okay, so here is not really a full translation. I'm not sure why the translator omitted that important part. Because she said Masaya has 10, no, 20 years of experience. That, that's exactly what she said. She said Junen. Junen means 10 years, but then she no, said no, not Junen. Nijunen means 20 years of experience. Something like that, yeah. Or actually, let me just, just let me just listen again. Yeah, it's something about 10 years, no, 20 years. Yeah. No. Like, oh, okay, I think like, what she said is like a, a real talent in like in 10, no, 20 years, like there's a like a rare talent once every 20 years like that. I think that's what she's saying, yeah. I don't want to talk about that again. Yeah. Before I know it, she isn't smiling anymore. Oh, then silence rings once more. I doubt we lasted longer than 10 seconds, but to me, it felt like an eternity. I'll be taking my leave now. It's almost time for me to start coaching. I wonder who was the one who coached Masaya. That's the thing. I think it's Aoi. It's definitely Aoi who coached her, yeah. Ojamashimas. Shitsure shimas, actually, not Ojamashimas. In this case, it's Shitsure shimas. Yeah, take my leave. Ah, sorry. Rashina san expresses her anger like a child throwing a tantrum. She puffs up her cheeks. Uh, no, not at all. I was surprised. She smiles cheerfully. 
sorry, I'm lying to you. Your master will eventually open up, so yeah. I apologize to her in my mind. Eventually, he'll be the one to, to open up to her, I feel. I mean, my personal problems have nothing to do with her. That trauma is mine alone. I can't get her involved in it. Until you fall in love with her. 